the end of this month, certain cell phones will stop working. Mobile companies are beginning what's called the 3G sunset. They're shutting down that old technology as they ramp up 5G. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron takes an in-depth look at how, on top of affecting old phones, it could become a safety hazard. Think about all the wireless technology you have right now. A cell phone, tablet, e-reader, smartwatch. Chances are you upgrade those every few years, so they're working on a more modern network. But think about what else is wireless, connected, the GPS or emergency calling in your car, maybe a home security system that calls for help, or medical devices that feed health data to your doctor. Those could be years or decades old, and a lot of them are about to lose their connection. It's a lot of everyday thing and a lot of life critical things that come and affect you on both sides. USD professor Venkat Shastri explains the coming 3G sunset will have a big impact on people's daily lives, especially for people or businesses who can't always afford the latest tech. So if you cut them off, what do they do, right? I mean, there is no solution from the telecom service providers on what do you want them to do. The major carriers are giving people some time to figure it out, but not much. AT&T will shut down its 3G network at the end of the month, February 28th. Sprint's will shut down on March 31st, T-Mobile on July 1st, and Verizon on December 31st. UC San Diego professor Dinesh Baradia says most people will realize it's gone the first time they get in a car crash. You could imagine pressing SOS button and no response to that, right? Notices like this have been going out for the past year. Some offer free upgrades, but others have messages saying there is no technology upgrade available. That means safety options like auto theft recovery won't work. Baradia says people should take action now and find out what devices will still work after the sunset. Every wireless device, right, gets something called as an FCC ID. You can take that FCC ID, at least to first order, learn whether you're going to get impacted or not. He shared this website, FCCID.io, where people can search individual devices to find out what technology it uses. It's a starting point, so no one's caught off guard when 3G disappears. In the meantime, Professor Shastri says he's hopeful someone can invent a patch or a workaround to let 3G devices work on 4G or 5G networks. Challenges at the root of what this country thrives and engages and wins on, right? We thrive on that. And so if anybody's going to do anything about it, it's going to have to be the U.S. Jared Aaron's. ABC 10 News. If you want to check your devices, we have put a link to that FCC website on ours, 10news.com.